first issue a warning for the first time and you can appeal it and you know they'll have someone review and let you know um so i did get a warning on one of my videos last week um the other week i forgot exactly what i think it was like a breathy 3d radio and i think that's a key component a key component in all of this um but yeah i got my first warning and so i was like okay that's scary with the warning there is a like 90 day period where you cannot violate the same policy or else if you violate it again you'll get another strike or you'll forget the first strike it's like a warning and then a first strike and you can't post for a week so that's what happened with me um i got a first strike on a like leather sounds massaging the ears video with the 3do um <laughs> so that was very very unfortunate and so i was not able to post for the past week i missed you so 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 much thank you thank you thank you for tuning in and now i really appreciate it but that is where i was and i do have to say like honestly when it first happened i believe it was like monday last week monday night i felt really really like i just felt really discouraged because uh they gave me some time stamps in the video where they were saying it violated it and it was within the first three seconds when i was saying hello like whispering hello in the ears and they gave me another time stamp in the video like more than halfway through and i was whispering the word brisk 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 the trigger word into the ears so i'm thinking that maybe um the 3do kind of i i heard comments sorry i heard that the 3do is like more likely to trigger um youtube's like computer system or something that makes them think that the sounds are like sus or something so i probably will not be using the 3do as much which really really sucks because obviously we love the 3do we love the ear to ear sounds um but i am working on getting some like road microphones so we can get the dual uh, microphone set up so we can still do ear to ear stuff but i actually don't um i don't really know how i need to do more research if you have any information about that i'd love to hear any of it like the setup of the two microphones because i feel like i need something else anyways that's not exactly the topic of this one but yeah so last week when it first happened like i honestly it kind of made me spiral that night because i was talking to other asmartists about their experience and i also heard of some channels just getting deleted without any warning and i was like so so scared that was gonna happen to me like i know this was my first warning i mean my first strike but it's just because like i had the warning and then i had the strike like back to back so i really started to be like okay what can i post on my like channel because i really like don't think these videos was anything crazy and with all of this i did open a free members tier on patreon so if you didn't know that you can be a free member on patreon and i can like i post free videos and stuff like that so i do have two free videos on patreon right now for the free members so if you are interested in joining my patreon and checking out my free videos that i have available right now i will have that linked at the top of the description box and i think that my like my dog's stomach is kind of like tweaking right now it's kind of getting louder so we need it and i just want to say thank you so much for all of your love and support especially with like all my community posts when i was discussing my posts getting taken down and also on patreon with my free members so over the past week i have been using my free members dear on patreon to try to connect with you further and just get your feedback on stuff because i kind of felt like i got cut off from my own community um and that also made me realize that I do need to kind of like expand outside of YouTube because I can't leave all my eggs in this YouTube basket that like, I don't know if it's going to hold, right? And I'm sorry if I keep looking over here. I'm looking at my laptop with my notes. And then something that I was asking on Patreon and I put out a poll for was the topic of streaming ASMR and all of that. I was talking to some of my friends that have streamed and I was trying to get input on like the different things I'd need just recommendations overall. And honestly, I want to do it. I wish I could. I really wish that I would be able to in the future um, or soon, like as soon as I could figure it out. And I really want to get your opinion on if you would be interested in watching me stream ASMR. Um, I know that there's Twitch. I know there's like a kick for streaming now. But yeah, I'm not exactly um, sure about which platform to use and things like that. I definitely have to do more research, but I did want to bring up this topic to you and just see what you thought about watching me stream. I have had some people ask me like recent, like over the years and stuff about if I do stream and I, I just haven't, um, but I've always responded that I would want to if I had the right setup and like the right setting for it because unfortunately where I live now, it is pretty, there's like a lot of construction going on. It's pretty loud during the day. 
so I would have to see and like try to figure out what schedule would work for me but that would be for the future the first is just bringing up the idea of streaming ASMR so I really really am looking forward to hearing what your feedback would be okay and another topic that I did want to circle back to which is about the like 90 day period where you cannot violate the same community guideline or policy again right so during the 90 day period if you get three strikes then your account will be terminated um so this 90 day period would end around in like january for me and when i spoke to other asm artists they did kind of feel like their channel was not was like being restricted and there was less engagement and like video reach wasn't as good um so i'm like debating if i should change something up for the next couple months or do something different because i am also just like terrified of getting another strike like i'm so 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 scared of getting my channel terminated of course like that is such a scary thing to think about just because i've like obviously built this community up for years for the past like two years or more and i don't know i just I, literally this the idea of my channel getting terminated kept me up that night until like 3 a.m i was up on like reddit and like searching on like old twitter post of asm artists talking about their experience with youtubers and whatnot um i mean youtube policies so it really really sent me down a spiral which is why i'm debating a little bit changing up how often that i post on youtube along with my frustrations with like um you know getting hit with is issues with my videos that i really don't feel like are any problem um i don't know i it, it is very uh, very much discouraging to post on youtube i know a lot of you are saying like that i should keep posting here and i definitely will but i'm just honestly i'm so scared of getting another strike during this period so i've been debating maybe doing just one video a week and then i was maybe going to open up a very low patreon tier like around two three dollars where i could post my second video of the week on there and i know that this obviously isn't ideal for anyone but i just feel so scared of like my channel's health and also just really discouraged honestly from youtube and all of the continual can like back-to-back -back issues that i almost feel like if i could just have the freedom to not worry about any like restrictions and stuff it'd be so much funner um so i don't know that's something i'm debating about i talked to a couple friends um if that would be a good idea or not and i'm not sure for I, this like low patreon tier it would be like the regularly scheduled second video i have each week on my asmr channel but it would just be posted to patreon instead for people that do want to support me over there you know um also my dog is snoring pretty loud now and i'm really 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 sorry i am um she's like not feeling well so maybe we should let her rest i know that a lot of you might not like that idea of course i know i want to post my videos here on youtube but i just am so tired of the restrictions especially i truly don't think that i did anything wrong and a lot of you agree with me when you go over to be a free member and you watch those videos literally it's just an asmr video but yeah so that was my idea that maybe i could open up a very low patreon tier and be able to publish my second asmr video of the week onto there and now this is not something i'm implementing yet i just i do want to talk to you and get your feedback because truly really like your opinion and on all of this it, it means so much to me of course um but i just feel like i do need to kind of lay low in a sense um the asmr artist friends that i have was telling me like for the next three months until the war like the 90 day period is up just chill and don't make like just and, I, I didn't, and then the thing is for me i was just like okay in the moment i was just like i don't even really know what that means now because i feel like they didn't give me actual reasons as to what was wrong with my video so like who's to know what will trigger the like there's a there's a system again to be like like this video is not safe for youtube but yeah i hope that you could understand like my frustrations with youtube and also why i am debating um these different ideas because i just want to be able to secure like my asmr career if you could say yeah. um in a way i do feel like things happen for a reason you know i was pretty upset about this initially and it really did bother me last week a lot um but i knew that i just had to figure out these like different things that i could do that would make me feel more secure in this um so yeah i don't know there's a small part of me that i've been um pursuing a lot of other like creative pursuits and like content creation with different um niche 
wishes and stuff like that so I'm like sometimes I feel like things happen where um, maybe this is like freeing up more time for me to work on other projects as well you know I'm never leaving you don't worry unless YouTube deletes my channel I'm not leaving you and even if they do that I'll make another one I don't care but they do actually have a rule on like not being able to make another video if your channel gets terminated no, I mean make another yeah, YouTube channel. Is that what I said? Yeah, you can't make another channel if your video gets terminated because that is like going around their thing. I don't know, but hey, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be here as long as I can be. Okay, but yeah, I just wanted to touch on those subjects. So if we kind of go want to go through the bullet point again, and I'm so sorry. I feel like I like looking at you, but this computer screen is kind of like the notes are, are taking my attention away. So sorry about that, but. First thing I need, I need, I need, I need your feedback on is if you would be interested in watching me live stream ASMR. Obviously, maybe we could do like other streaming stuff too in the future. Like I've always wanted to stream some fun games, like something chill like that. But I want to start like with ASMR, of course. Um, and then streaming ASMR. I want to get your opinion on a very low Patreon tier for the second video of the week from YouTube on Patreon. You know what that, I hope that makes sense. But yes, like a low tier on Patreon so that I don't have to be so stressed out about YouTube's restrictions and just like post freely. And again, I do want to stress that this lower tier is just going to be like, you know, regular ASMR videos that I would post on YouTube. But you know, um, yes. And then as I'm looking over my notes, I'm worried that during this video, I've just been super like chaotic and rambling back and forth between subjects, so I really hope that it wasn't like that. And then, a last idea that I had, I know a lot of people over the years have asked me for custom videos, and this is something that I am debating now, uh, but I'm not sure, because it's, I feel like, I feel like it's kind of chaotic to open customs, and I'm not really sure how much I would be able to do. I have seen people on like open up a tier on Patreon where only like five, bit, like it's limited amount of people can join us uh, and I've seen people kind of use that tier for custom so that, you know, but I'm not sure, I'm kind of scared to do customs because I feel like I need to really, really emphasize that I don't do any like fluid, not, not safe for work content for your customs, you know, and I'm scared that people are still going to submit those. Um, but yeah, so that's probably some type of screening process. I'm going to have to figure out some way. But I am thinking about it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. These are everything that's been like going on with me and the ASMR channel, our community here. I I don't know. I felt so bad like over this past week and even recent. Like yesterday, I was going through my comments and people are like, "Where's a new video?" and stuff like that. And I'm just like, I can't even post a community post to let you know where I am. Uh, that is on it. Like that is one of the reasons why I was like, oh, I really need to expand um, onto my other socials, onto my other ASMR socials specifically because I was suddenly like, I can't even reach my audience. I can't tell you the updates. I can't talk to you, which felt really frustrating. So I am going to actually start using my free Patreon tier to use as a way to get feedback and communicate with you a bit more. I actually realized I have like the same amount of free members as I do on like Instagram. I was trying to see like how many um, people I would be able to, like when I post something, like I post that I had a strike, how many people would see that on Instagram versus like Patreon or what, whatever. I actually also have an ASMR Twitter account that I literally never use. I probably have like 200 followers on there, but I feel like I should start using it. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I forgot it's called X now, but yeah, I don't know. It's just been, in a way, like this past week, I kind of was like, okay, I know, I, I, could, I could kind of not, I could see it as like a break, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I don't have to record XYZ amount of ASMR videos this week, and it did give me time to kind of collect my thoughts and catch up on other work, as well as try to brainstorm some other things for my ASMR, you know, stuff in my life. But yeah, this is basically all that I wanted to talk about for tonight. I really, 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 I truly appreciate you watching until right now. Like, it means so much to me that you're willing to listen to me ramble about my channel and just like my worries about it, honestly. And so I really hope that you um, let me know what your thoughts 
See you.